good evening and good morning, good afternoon, whatever time this message reaches you. And wherever you may be, you may be on the toilet. You may be one of those poor people who only see things on your phone. And you may be one of these well-to-do middle-class people, wherever you are in the Caribbean, like a judge, a lawyer, or a uh, registrar, and you have access to the internet at home, you have a laptop, you have a computer, and you can watch things on your phone, and you can watch things on your computer. My name is Peter Emmanuel, and my nom de gré is Pope Peter Emmanuel Le Premier the First, and my other nom de gré is Francois Macandal, the leader of the Avenging Army of Francois Macandal. On today, I want to send a message to the Honorable Michelle Theobalds and to the Honorable Mistress, um, I believe her, her last name is Etienne, but I think it might be Teresa something something Etienne. You see, I sent an email early this morning uh, to these people to tell them that I'm almost ready to commit suicide. And the reason why I'm ready to commit suicide is because I'm so ashamed and embarrassed of them because they have key positions in the judiciary, in the OECS courts. And they come from that society where they feel that they have become attorneys, they have become registrars, and that they are above everybody else, that their poo poo doesn't smell, and that they will be on top forever. And they feel that I have went above my breeches to reach out to them, to talk to them, to write to them, and to ask them questions. I don't ask them for legal advice. I ask them simply to explain their processes to me because I have matters in their courts for which I have been bamboozled, I have been tricked, and I have been betrayed. And I wrote way back in September to Mrs. Theobalds, who is the Chief Register of the OCS Scots. That means she's the supervisor of Mrs. Etienne. She was the supervisor of Oswald Walsh. And for 11 years, I have been struggling against Oswald Walsh, an illiterate, a man who suffers from dyslexia, a man who has no ethics, a man who was running a business from his little cramped office in the registry of Dominica. And that lady never once responded to me, except she sent a one-line email to Walsh to say to Walsh, take care of this. And Walsh emailed me and Walsh demonstrated he didn't know how to write email. All of his sentences were grumbled together. There was no double space. Walsh was an imposter. He still is. Today he's running a bar in Newton in Dominica where he offers prostitution and drugs. Imagine a former registrar, chief registrar, is relegated to becoming a drug dealer and a pimp. So now I come and I ask questions of the administrators of the court. I don't ask them for legal advice. I just say, what is your processes? I said, this is what the CPR, the civil procedure rules say. This is what it's saying 3.7. This is what it's saying 3.8 that you can file in the court by email or by fax and make arrangements to pay. Now let me calm down. Let me speak softly and carry a big stick. You as a chief registrar, you are the representative of the chief justice. You as the acting registrar in Dominica are the representative of the chief registrar and of the chief justice. You have within your authority to make those decisions. And I have asked you and pleaded with you. And you keep ignoring me. You ignore my emails. You ignore my 
my regular mails. I sent three letters to you. I sent one to Levi Peter, one to the two to the registrar, and you all refused them. And it is a good thing the U.S. Postal Service works well. This email, this physical mails came back to me. Maybe because of your superstition, you thought it had zombie powder. Maybe you thought it had a curse in there. So you didn't accept it and you didn't open it. And I understand that. Because you should fear me. You should fear me. Because like I've told you before, since we began this process, let me tell you, my wife, Mimi Gordon, was killed on the 10th of March 2013. And Bernie Stevenson imposed on me the burden to travel to Dominica to hear these hearings. And when I came to Dominica and I went to her office and I told the clerk that I was there, Bernie canceled the hearing. Maybe she was having postmenopausal cramps. Who knows what her issues were. And then I had to come back. And my son came with me and when he saw what happened in Dominica, he said he never wants to come back to Dominica because Dominica is a shithole country. And he said that before Trump ever came to power and Trump ever said that. And then I came back in October and Bernie made some rulings. And when I paid this woman, Seraphine, to go and get me the um, transcripts, she claimed she got it all before Hurricane Maria, but somehow she was not able to get the transcript of October 25th of 2013. So I told you, for 11, 12 years now, Selma Dupini have tied me up with a simple statement from a man named Fenty Larock, there is no fixed debt claim form. Just a simple statement that says, I issue a caveat against Peter Lander for land that does he has no right to, and the land is mine, and I will come to file for it at some due cost. And this man is on the verge of death, if not Alzheimer's, if not dementia, if not shitting on himself, he is on the verge of death. The same way that I am on the verge of death. And all it takes is that one sheet of paper to tie you up in Dominica. Who wants to be in Dominica? Now, they wouldn't do that to a Nassif. They wouldn't do that to Gadakan. They wouldn't do that to any white person on Dominica. But they will do that to me. And Selma Dupini and her family, who have for generations been oppressing and, and do, you know, I, 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 she's like a witch, a living witch. She wants to change and bring into reality something that is not real. There is no residual claim for Fenty Larock. There is no possession claim for Fenty Larock. But yet for 12 years you have tied me up. And Mr. Bruni to his credit. Mr. Bruni was my teacher. He's a family friend. When I last saw him I told him that I was dying and he was sorry. And when we finished the appeal we smoked a cigarette together. Little do what I know he said to me Peter you know I'm so sorry. I have completely forgotten about this case. And I want to lay it to rest. Unfortunately, he is departed. And then I wrote to you and I spoke to you and I said to you, look what has happened in all those involved with me. First and foremost, Mimi. She paid the ultimate sacrifice in her blood. And she told me, she said, Peter, don't worry. You will be victorious. You will win everything. Because you have never done anything but the right things in your life. You have taken care of your mother. You have taken care of your family. 
and you have taken care of your stepfather. My spirit is with you and the Lord is with you. So I come now and I ask Ms. Etienne, what is the proper procedure for those of us who don't have access to e-filing? I send a copy of the email to Ms. Steelballs, Mrs. Steelballs, the chief registrar in St. Lucia. And she insulted me. She told me that my files are not in St. Lucia as if she thinks I'm a dumbass. I know my files are not in St. Lucia. But madam, you are the you are the supervisor of Mrs. Etienne, just like you were the supervisor of Walt. And the only reason why I come to you is that you would talk to your direct reports and tell them to do their duties. You and your direct report are earning over a hundred thousand dollars in salary which is an extremely good salary for someone working in an Eastern Caribbean island. And you cannot do your job. And you're telling me that Miss, Mrs. Etienne will respond to me in due course. What the hell do you mean by due course? Well, last night I told you in my email, if I should email you again, you should have me killed. I told you it is a contract. I want you to have me killed because I am so embarrassed about you. I'm so disappointed in you that you could call yourself a representative of the judiciary and you don't know how to carry out your duties. So I am not emailing you anymore. I am sending you videos and those videos will exist in perpetuity on YouTube and guess what Elon Musk will earn YouTube Elon Musk will take over Facebook and all those companies that Elon Musk believe in free speech and freedom of expression and I will have the opportunity to express what I feel and what I have to say so you have all your big degrees you have your prominent positions. You have your big salary. And you're telling me that you are the supervisor and you do not know how to bring your direct reports to do what they're supposed to do. So I wrote you an email. And I told you if I ever email you again to have me killed. So from here on, there will be no more emails. All communications will be by video. And it will be for all to see, for the whole world, the whole public, to understand that we have between us a failure to communicate. And you know what happens when there is a failure to communicate. We have a failure to communicate. I am sorry that I am better looking than you and I am older than you. I am sorry that my dental look better than yours. And you are younger than me. I am sorry that I am the first one to call you out on your incompetence and your mediocrity. Because our people are used to mediocrity. And our people are used to incompetence. And they do not know how to stand up because they are afraid they might lose their job. They are afraid that you might go against them. The same way Kara Shillingford told me she could not ask for Bernie to be to be um to be re, um recused from the case because she may have other matters in front of Bernie and Bernie hate young female judges. Bernie hate them because they're better looking than her, they're more attractive than her, and she just had a hatred for them. And Bernie had a personal vendetta against me and a hatred for me because she thought that she could offer me the thing. And I didn't accept her offer of the thing. I didn't want the thing from Bernie. And I wouldn't put my thing inside of Bernie. I left that for Oswald Walsh. So I come to you. 
and I ask you a simple question. What is the process for a lay person filing directly into the court without the privilege of e-file? I ask you why in 2022 we need to bring deep paper to the court when matters are to be scanned and to be put into a computer and you refuse to answer me. Mrs. Steerbold, you told me that Miss Etienne will get to me in due course. What the fuck is the meaning of due course? Due course means whenever. Due course means in Jamaican, I soon come. Due course means in Dominican, I'll be there in a while. What is in a while? Well, guess what? I have some examples for you because you see, this is not my first rodeo and it's not going to be my last because you see in this world if you have anything if you have money if you have assets if you are living an honorable life you're always going to have issues with the law you're going to have litigation people are going to come after you some women you never have sex with will come and say you're their baby daddy and your penis never even touched their vagina. You understand? And they'll come for child support. And you have to defend against it. If you own a car, you might have a repossession. If you own a house, you might have a foreclosure. As I have watched so many foreclosures by the Harris team in open court. And the Harris team, that's all they can do. They just sit there and grin. Uh, uh, we'll, go to, we'll go to judgment now. I want 1.5 million and the house in, 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 in Wall House. And then when I went to them to ask them to help me with my case, they tell me they cannot deal with a matter of such magnitude. Well, guess what? I don't need the Harris firm. I don't need no goddamn firm. And I'll tell you all one thing. Mr. Levi Peter, you committed an act of treachery. And I sent you the videos from Michael Collion. And I ask you the question, who approached you? And you have not yet answered. I want you to know that I never forget and I never forgive. And in our principle, it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth plus seven. And I was entitled to have a appearance with my lady on the 11th of November, 2020. And my lady was obligated by law to rule in my favor. Now we'll see what you all come with on January 13, 2023. But I'm telling you all, I'm telling you all, let me repeat it to you the way I said it before in writing, the way that Bernie became upset. And you could see if you go to the video of June 3rd, you'll see how she couldn't hold her emotions and how I got under her skin and how I intend to get under your skins because your skins are thin. You are jurists. You sit on courts of law. You see all kinds of things. You see murder, you see blood, you see pictures, you, you know, and you act like you cannot, you know, I wrote to you on the 9th of, of, of September and tell you I want a clarification on being able to file by email and by fax. And, and you say you didn't see my email. And then I wrote to you and I said, if my email had said bottle fed, if it had said midnight fed, if it had said all white party, if it had said an orgy, you would have seen it. And it is one of your colleagues who came to you and said, how is this man is so rude to be talking to you while you responded to me? And I still don't know if my, my, my communications have gotten to the Chief Justice and if she'll ever respond. And I may have to take on the Chief Justice too. You see, no one, no one is above reproach. Not the Chief Justice, not Levi Peter, not my Rayburn Blackmore, not Roosevelt Skerritt, 
We are all built in the likeness and the image of God and we are all gods and the battles of the gods is what we are going to wage. So now I ask you, why is the man in the filing clerk office holding back my copy that he's supposed to stamp file and not giving it back to my representative? Why is he asking me to bring deed paper on an existing case? And why in the 21st century, when you have e-filing, you're still telling ordinary citizens to bring deed paper? Are you insane? Are you stupid? Are you an idiot? That's what I want to know. Are you an idiot? Are you a stupid? Because you have to be stupid. Because in this time and age, in this time and age, everything is in electronics. Because at least you can take those electronic files, put them on a disk, and put them in a remote area. Whereas when the tsunami hit Dominica, that paper you have from 1493 will not be destroyed. It will not have mold. It will not decompose. You understand? And the judge can read it on the computer and she can issue her order and sign it electronically. That's how it's done all over the world. And I am also, you know, I have a docket with you. I have a docket here. My docket here is bigger than your docket with you. As part of this video, I'm going to send you an example of how a court system that have tens and millions of cases can have the time to write to a litigant professionally and do what is called case management in a professional way. And you have Mr. Lee, uh, Mr. Leroy Peter having my case set up for the 11th and lying to me and sending me a fake email. Leroy, Leroy, is that you? Leroy, you need to account for who approached you. This is no joke, Leroy. This will not go away. This will not be forgiven. You will face the justice of Peter Emmanuel for that betrayal. Now, Mrs. Etienne, I ask you, what is your procedure? You tell me you, I cannot get e-file. You tell me to send somebody to bring my documents. I send them. And your filing people are giving them all kind of run around and all kind of harassment. And, all kind, and the demand that you have there is something is wrong with him. No, he don't want me to come after him. Anyway, I know your attention span is short, so I'm going to end this right now. I'm just telling you, your supervisor, Michelle Theobalds, told me that you'll get back with me in due course. Well, due course have came and gone. Due course was last week. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of November. Tomorrow is the 1st of December. I am at war. We are at war. And this war is going to go on until victory. It is resistance. It is struggle. It is fight until victoria, until victory. And I am telling you, if you were wise, you are still the acting registrar. You'll never make it to chief registrar because Skerritt have a plan for somebody else other than you. And if you were wise, you would be on the right side of Peter Lander. And you would answer my goddamn questions yesterday instead of today. So there will be no more emails. From now on, you will have videos. And those videos will exist on, on Facebook in perpetuity. Because I am done. I am done. I am not going to give up. I am not going to die prematurely. But let me remind you before I go, all those who have been involved in this struggle with me, like I told Mr. Peters, Mo Green is dead. So is Statelia. So is um, whatever the hell the name is that Michael Colleone said. But I want to tell you, 
Michael Bruni is dead. Anthony Commodo is dead. Peter Joseph is dead. Mimi Landa is dead. Raphael Liquent is dead. And Peter Landa is on the list to die next, but it's going to take a while. Because we're going to settle this matter in my fucking favor before it's over with. And you need to answer my fucking questions and answer them now. Not today, not in due course. Due course is whatever the fuck you think it is. You should answer it today, tomorrow, and send me that fucking answer in an email. I will not be emailing you back, but I will send you another video to let you know that I received your response. And I cannot say God bless you. I say God fuck you. God fuck you. And may your term and your tenure be fucked.